Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to have a look at 7 Mac OS tips, starting from the little, little ones to the mind-blowing ones. If you're new to the channel, this is Surayev. Consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Now, without any further ado, let's get straight into the tips. Tip number one, activate spotlight searching. As we said, it's literally for searching files on your Mac. To activate this function, just simply press command plus space. Let me show you a couple of examples. Let me find the file. Now another one. Let's play a simple map. One plus two. Yeah, it's three. It should be three anyways. Now let's try finding the meaning of a word from the dictionary. Yeah, there we go. For an example, let's take the spotlight. A lamp projecting a narrow, intense beam of light directly onto a place or a person, especially for former crime station. So that's basically the tip number one. Now let's move on to the tip number two. Closing apps from the app switcher. We all are used to switching the tabs between multiple apps and in case if you don't know how to do it on a Mac, here we go. Command plus tab. And this brings us to the app switcher. Basically, it shows you all the currently running applications. Hitting the Q while pressing the command key cuts the program even without opening them. Boom! I mean, that's cool. I mean, that's really cool. Tip number three. Switching between multiple windows within the application. Say, for example, if we have five instances of an Excel workbook open, and if we want to switch between the Excel windows, for example, if you have file A and file B, if we want to jump from workbook A to workbook B, in Windows, how do we do that? In Windows, we press Alt plus Tab. I mean, in Windows, to move between the apps and to move within the apps is the same way. But in Mac, it's a little tricky. You can't move to the next window of the app by pressing Command Tab. It just moves across the apps. So in Mac, how do we do it? It's very simple, straightforward. Command plus tilt. Oh my god, it's that easy. Damn! Initially when I started using the Mac OS, I feel like it was a bug which they couldn't fix for years. I felt like sometimes I cannot find the other window of the same app. I was like, what the hell is going on? Especially it was really challenging to move between the windows in Safari, Excel. Why do we need to go with the programs? We have the finder. It was such a pain to find the next tab of the finder. And I was like, why did this window disappear? Tip number four. Switching between multiple desktops. In the Mac, it's a little bit different using the window. If we maximize the window, it just becomes a complete independent desktop. And if you want to go to the back side, you can't even find. I mean, like, you have to resize it to see the other apps. It's not the way anymore. Just press Control and navigate. Left or right. Boom, there you go. Desktop number one, two, three, whatsoever you need. So far, we have covered a lot of switching. Now let's completely switch the switches. Tip number five, quickly opening up a folder. Now, if you ever tried browsing through your folders with the keyboard without using trackpad or mouse, you know the pain that you cannot open the folder in fact. If you press enter, it just gives you a rename the file. I'm not used to that, I'm a Windows guy. I need to open the folder, come on. Now, if I hit the space bar, it gives me the detail of the folder. I want to open the folder. How do I do that? It's very simple. Hit command plus the down arrow. Boom, you're inside the folder. Now if you want to go back, command plus up. Tip number six, deleting files permanently. If you are sure about some files that you want to permanently delete those files and that you don't want to move to the bin and then remove from the bin, there's a way. In Windows, we do shift delete. And in the Mac, option plus command plus delete. And it gives you the window. Are you sure you want to delete it? And also with a disclaimer that this item will be deleted, you can't undo this action. Be careful. The last one and seventh one is creating auto duplicating files. This is helpful in case if you have a template for the presentations and you don't want to copy this, paste this, and use the copied one. I mean, that's a lot of mess. Say, for example, this is the file that I need to use as template. So each time I open this, a duplicate file automatically creates, helping to reduce the mess. So in order to do that, it's very simple. Right click, get info, under the general tab, check this little box stationary pad. Close this window. Now I'm trying to open this template.pptx. 
So when I tried to open the template, it automatically created a copy and opened the copy of the template. I mean, it's fantastic. Mind blowing, isn't it? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you find this video helpful, please share with your friends and family. And also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.